Are you ready? We can start? Yes. Welcome to Turkey, welcome to Kastamonu. And uh, let me express my gratitude to Ilker and uh, to his team for uh, welcoming us so uh, warmly, so in su such good conditions. We are now in uh, in the laboratory of uh, his institution, uh, the National uh, School Educational Directorate uh, from Castamonu. And uh, we will uh, start our activities in the Brunvik uh, project uh, Thesaurus uh, for today. So, uh, as we stipulated in our uh, timetable for today, we will uh, have uh, some presentations uh, of uh, the involved uh, institutions. I mean, uh, we prepared some uh, uh, information concerning uh, the uh, activities of the project <coughs> that we uh, succeeded to implement in our uh, institution. Uh, the step of the project uh, where we are together now uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental one, so uh, we are working uh, now on the website of the project, on the LMS of the project. We are uh, preparing the course supports. We didn't uh, start yet uh, the um, courses uh, with uh, adult uh, tra trainees. Uh, we will uh, we will start this uh, activity in the second uh, year of the project, but right now we are here to, to continue this uh, experiment, didactic uh, um, uh, let's see, didactic uh, exercises to see exactly how methods to apply, how we can use uh, the elements of the project uh, in uh, concrete activities uh, with uh, adult learners. And uh, for uh, uh, achieving this uh, experiment, we also have here with us uh, some trainees. We have uh, trainees from Greece, from uh, Portugal, and uh, also from uh, uh, Piatra Nantes, uh, from uh, our partner, uh, Magister Educatuanis. Uh, association and uh, I think from Croatia too we have one trainee uh, yes uh, I, uh, I, I also want to to say welcome to our partners uh, who succeeded to arrive here today I mean uh, the Greek partners uh, from, from Patras University the Portuguese partner, partners from uh, Via Longa, uh, Agrupamento de Escolas de Via Longa, uh, from um, Zagreb, from Croatia, from, the, from uh, Handcrafts uh, Association. And uh, like I mentioned before, welcome to our uh, partners from uh, Piatra Nams, uh, Romania, uh, from uh, the Association of Magister Educationis. Well, as you can observe, as you can observe in the, on the website of the project, uh, our website is like uh, a diary of um, of the past activities. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, we put on. Uh, only one YouTube, uh, uh, the majority of the movies that uh, we produced until now, and uh, it's not possible now to be viewed uh, here. But uh, I will, uh, I will try to to transfer some of these movies on on another website, uh, Daily Motion, uh, so we can uh, give the possibility for everybody to, uh, to watch our documentaries because we have a lot of documentaries made uh, 
during the first project reunion uh, from uh, Romania. Uh, and uh, here we have a special article uh, uh, of, uh, I hope the, the, the internet will help uh, in this, uh, will help uh, <laughs> anyway, we have some internet problems. I don't know uh, if we can, if I can solve uh, them uh, today. But uh, I, uh, mm -hmm. we have to charge uh, twice a web page to enter it. So we produced uh, a lot of uh, episodes of our uh, documentary movie, uh, 13 episodes of our uh, documentary movie of the project were produced during uh, the first uh, project reunion from Romania. We also have uh, a lot of uh, photo galleries made uh, during our activities from Vastu in Piatanans. As you remember, we organized, uh, we organized in Vastu uh, uh, the meetings with uh, the officials and uh, also uh, the international uh, conference uh, dedicated to adult uh, education and uh, in Piatra Nantes we realized uh, the workshops, uh, the practicum of the project. Uh, after uh, this project reunion and after the evaluation of the project reunion, we uh, wrote and published many scientific articles uh, in uh, the Modern School magazine, a didactic magazine uh, issued by uh, House of Didactic Staff uh, from uh, Piatra Nantes. <coughs> and uh, as, as you know, we uh, had many uh, web meetings uh, and we uh, finally succeeded as a solution for these uh, web meetings, uh, Google Hangouts, which is the most uh, powerful instrument that allows us to have face-to-face uh, -face video conferences uh, and uh, to, to share uh, other tools together. Uh, for example, to, to be able, during the video conference, to share a, a, a web page, an application, uh, to download and to upload the materials. So uh, that's why we uh, we have chosen uh, this um, hangouts uh, instruments. And uh, the main uh, web meetings. We realized the uh, synthesis of uh, these uh, web meetings, and uh, they are also uh, installed uh, on as uh, little applications on the website of the project. Look, uh, here we have uh, images from uh, from our online practicum uh, from uh, 24th of January. <coughs> Uh, maybe not. <laughs> so uh, we also met uh, on uh, 31st, uh, 31st of uh, January. Then also uh, in February, and uh, 
in, uh, in February, in March, uh, we, we worked on uh, the beginning of course support. And uh, the, uh, the 22nd of March, uh, I uh, had uh, a special uh, web conference with the partners of Cyprus. They couldn't be here today, as you observed. But uh, their reasons uh, are uh, extraordinary and we couldn't uh, do anything to help them to be here because it's a kind of uh, diplomatic uh, misunderstanding and uh, it's not because of the project, because of the project management or uh, anything else and uh, that's uh, anyway, we will uh, see them in, uh, in Cyprus and uh, maybe we will find a way to inform them uh, what we succeeded to do these days here in Castamon, uh, for sure. For today, for the activities of, uh, the activities, uh, of uh, this day, I will invite uh, the other present partners here to make some short uh, presentations of their activity uh, in, uh, in the project uh, Tesaurus, their activity of this month. And uh, you get, if you want to say, my, uh, my presentations are on uh, press, and it's better to start after the break. After the break. If you don't want to wait. For <laughs> no, no. Oh, what time the break? Ten, uh, Eleven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have one hour for presentations. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if you want to start to be the first, t just tell me. If you don't want to be the first, I will choose uh, <laughs> one of you. Uh, and uh, let me choose Roxana first because she has no voice. So, no matter what uh, she say, here, she says here. Uh... Good morning. First of all, I want to uh, thanks uh, to Mika for this wonderful uh, opportunity to see each other again. Uh, as Alex told you. I cannot speak too much, so uh, I will be very short. Uh, I will present you some activities that uh, our association, uh, together with uh, the most part with uh, Vasluy Association, work, worked until now in the project. So. Uh, I thought it's better that uh, I will present you month by month. So uh, we uh, we will start from September, when uh, um, together with uh, the team, my team and Alex's team, have uh, decided to include our courses about folklore uh, in the uh, curricula of uh, teaching center from NAMS. This means uh, the uh, didactic staff uh, can uh, follow the courses that uh, we propose. Uh, this uh, course is uh, offered from uh, teaching center, was uh, sent to, the, to our ministry and it was approved. So uh, from uh, September we uh, can do all the courses that uh, we uh, already have prepared. Or most Our of courses them. from Vaslui are also introduced in, in yes, the in Vaslui, official uh, teaching offer. center. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, in Vaslui teaching yes, as well. Uh, these courses are about folklore, about uh, popular dances, uh, about traditions, and uh, uh, of course uh, uh, about uh, the uh, legatura connection. connection between. Uh, 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 English and French, and of course tradition and folklore. So uh, we include them in our uh, catalog 
of uh, courses. After that, uh, we uh, I prepare a curricula for uh, the school where I work for sixth grade, also about traditional folklore. So uh, everything that we will learn in these courses can transfer to our pupils in schools. So uh, I use this opportunity to make an uh, optional discipline name also Tesaurus Tradition and Romanian Folklore. After that, of course, it was uh, the national seminar Grundvig Bucharest in 14th of October, where uh, Alexandru uh, has presented uh, our last project, Nelpaie. We had the great chance to be choose to present to our uh, uh, our uh, colleagues from all Romania the project. This one, this means it was a, a big success. Also, Alexandru, I want to say that Alexandru was congratulated for this project. Yes, for it this was one. obtained with uh, maximum. Uh, yes, uh, it was score. evaluated like the first uh, grounding mm -hmm. project in Romania. Yes. So they mentioned us to be the best. Uh, uh, project uh, conceivers and uh, uh, and they are the, not uh, used to say these uh, things uh, a lot so it was uh, a great success uh, for our project we, we got the maximum average uh, from Romania evaluators and uh, they are uh, very strict they're very bad and uh, they were amazed by the quality of uh, <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, it was uh, uh, next. Uh, our colleagues from uh, my team uh, have presented our project in didactic staff meetings, especially with uh, kindergarten teachers and uh, uh, primary school teachers. This was made by uh, our colleague uh, uh, Rodica Savu, Ana Hertzan, uh, Manuela Petre, and uh, uh, Daniela Mutsu. And uh, we presented uh, all about our project, what is our project, uh, how can uh, all the teachers can uh, go to, to follow the courses that uh, we will uh, uh, put on the platform and how all the courses can be used in schools. After this, um, it was uh, a big conference in uh, our uh, region uh, organized by our uh, inspectorate. Uh, all about European projects, so it was a big opportunity that uh, we had and uh, our colleague Dani Daniela Mutsu has presented an uh, article about the, the project too. In November, uh, we had an online international conferences, the tablet en classe du langue vivante, quelle question a supposé. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he can say a lot about yes, uh, it was a this. special uh, web co conference and uh, we part uh, it was in French that's why uh, only our Romanian teams uh, participated because uh, only our teams are francophone yes. <laughs> that's why uh, I didn't uh, send you an invitation but uh, if you want to participate to French language conferences uh, you are welcome uh, from now on uh, it was uh, an interesting occasion to um, to be uh, to be in touch with a lot of French uh, trainers and teachers uh, from all Europe, and uh, we had we had um, um, a professor who uh, showed us some uh, new methods of, uh, and some new uh, electronic instruments to be used with only with. Uh, uh, phones, iPhones, tablets, uh, uh, they are almost totally different by computer instruments. Uh, this is, we also, also have uh, this conference uh, uh, on the website uh, of the project. In November uh, you have participated to our meeting from Romania in Vaslui and in Piatra Neamț. And uh, it was a big success for us, for Vaslui and for Neamț, 
because we uh, really motivate you and involve you all in uh, all our activities, who was uh, very, very uh, multi. Uh, a, lo a lot of them and uh, we, uh, we have uh, been um, very stressed that uh, you will be so tired so you, you will say that's enough but you didn't say this and uh, thank you thank you that uh, you managed to help us to make all the work that uh, we have played uh, in Vaslui and in Piatra Neamț yes and uh, as you remember we had uh, a big TV show and it's not so easy to organize nowadays a TV show uh, of one hour length uh, in a TV station, Romanian TV station. It's very expensive and uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not easy to get uh, this time uh, in a timetable of a television. Yes. After the project uh, reunion, we uh, had to tell all the teachers that we can, we could, uh, all about uh, the reunion and the purpose of our project again. So uh, this uh, was the role of all my colleagues to go in the territory and uh, tell to the other teachers about uh, what we have done in the first uh, project reunion and how can everybody participate to the other activities from our project. After this, uh, it was uh, we, we have participated to a national festival uh, of uh, Your Chances in partnership with Teacher Training Center NAMT and uh, we had a dissemination project activities at Chamber of Commerce and Industry NAMT and of course uh, we had a county training seminar valorizing culture and Romanian tradition made by our colleague Rod Rodica Savu painting workshop Julia Hălăucescu, local painter, made by Daniel Amățu. Exhibition Way to Valorize Romanian Tradition, made by Ana Hrțan and Manuela Petrei. After that, in, also in November, we had some articles, we published some articles in the newsletter of our teaching training center. And in December, we published an article in magazine Apostolul, pieces from Romanian tradition in workshop, and this is a, a, a didactic uh, magazine also. In December, we have participated to uh, Christmas tree festival at uh, Carmen Seculare Culture and Art Center, Nams, where uh, you have uh, done all the activities. In December also we had a regional symposium, Romanian Tradition Treasure, Treasury, in partnership with Teaching Training Center, with uh, our inspectorate, with uh, uh, Vaslui Association uh, Europea, <laughs> my pot, uh, and with other uh, uh, association uh, from our region. Also, we have published an article in uh, uh, e-book named Traditional Treasury of Romanian People. Of course, as you already saw, uh, in January start all the video conferences that involve all the, pa uh, all the partners. And also, in uh, uh, January, as uh, everybody knows, uh, we start uh, doing the core support and uh, Rodica and Daniela Mutsu uh, had uh, worked to the core support that uh, we worked during our video conferences. In February, we had a uh, dissemination article also in uh, a di didactic magazine. In March, another, project, another article in Modern School magazine, Small Steps into Europe, and of course, now is April and we are here. This is everything that uh, we have done until now. So, thank I, you. I know, and, uh, I can show you. Ah, and of course, uh, the, the last uh, core support that uh, this uh, week has made with uh, our colleague uh, Josef Gile and Claudio Lucian.
and of course Alexandru who has uh, Romanian folklore dances and uh, he will uh, show you some uh, I hope I will be able <laughs> to yes and that even if you if you can uh, some some days some days uh, Wednesday I think we will uh, do a course uh, workshop so we will be involved in uh, this uh, course all of us so thank you this is it Okay, now uh, the Croatian team, if you want to come here. The internet is very bad. I, I can't. Uh, I, I am connected here only from one, uh, time to time, <laughs> not all uh, the time. time. And you need now? No, no, no. no. I'm just telling you if you plan to do our latest. Yes, I will. short presentation about the activities of Association of Craftsmen Zagreb. Uh, so let's start. Uh, you may know that the Association of Craftsmen in Zagreb uh, usually initiate, initiates activities like vocational education uh, and trainings for students. We organize uh, practices for students, uh, participation and visits to craft fairs and uh, especially uh, uh, we, we pay our attention to education of young craftsmen uh, in uh, cooperation with vocational schools such as craft college. Uh, so uh, in this pro uh, project our, some of our objectives are uh, to improve the knowledge in foreign languages uh, for our members to improve uh, their IT skills through use of modern technology and uh, for them to learn new skills to improve their own, uh, even their own business and to get the necessary ability to learn more about other national uh, traditions as well as presenting Croatian uh, national uh, traditions. So, uh, the methods we used and will be uh, used uh, modern technology. Uh, by that we mean using the uh, computers and internet. And we organize trainings and practicums for groups. Uh, we try to achieve uh, better uh, results. So the groups are, uh, let's say, quite small. Uh, we try to uh, sum the groups to about 10 people maximum. And uh, after the first project meeting in Romania, uh, since we had a long ride home to Croatia with a car, uh, we had a lot of time to think about uh, what can we do, what kind of activities uh, can we do for our uh, members uh, in this project. So uh, we came up with an idea to organize uh, trainings and practical uh, for our members uh, about using the IT uh, to achieving better IT skills and uh, so uh, we organized trainings about uh, IT skills and also about foreign languages. Uh, our difficulties were uh, the lack of IT skills for some members. You have to keep in mind that a lot of our members uh, never used computers or even internet and a lot of them uh, use uh, computers on barely on a daily basis to uh, maybe read the news or send an email or some basic stuff uh, like that. So, and also uh, a lot of uh, adult uh, craftsmen 
don't uh, know a uh, good foreign language. They don't have uh, enough knowledge of, uh, for example, English language, which today is very important. So we try to uh, set up this to improve these difficulties. Our advantages were that uh, we could organize small groups over the period of a few weeks for each group for better results so that the uh, trainers uh, can get more involved personally with the trainees and the availability of all the necessary equipment. So we, uh, have, uh, hey, we have all the equipment, uh, by equipment I mean uh, laptops, computers, uh, labs like this one. So that is quite an, a big advantage. Uh, we divided IT skills, uh, we divided them in uh, two parts, uh, basic and advanced. So uh, we got a group of our, uh, our members who are uh, craftsmen and we sent them to go first to basic uh, level for IT skills. Basic we mean involving uh, usage of uh, Microsoft Office programs, uh, Word, uh, Excel, Outlook, uh, basics of internet use, uh, how to use, how to create an email, uh, how to uh, connect with other people with using the email, and especially uh, searching the web uh, if they need to search for some term or so, so that they get familiar with uh, using the internet as a resource. Uh, and advanced level was uh, <coughs> creating blogs and web pages, uh, web graphics, uh, which is very important in order if we want to present Croatian national traditions. So we uh, have to have people who are uh, who can make blogs or web pages or participate in our web page or tomorrow in our project web page uh, with. Uh, texts and tutorials about Croatian national uh, tradition. <coughs> and uh, since they got familiar with basic uh, using uh, basic IT skills, uh, they uh, on the beginning a lot of our members uh, had and fear about using the computers because they have never used uh, computers. So the most uh, biggest uh, actually fear was uh, that they will break something. So after they went from the basic level and when they reach the advanced level, uh, they get uh, they were more freely and, and they were encouraged to do better use uh, the uh, computers. So that today they can create blogs, uh, they can create simple uh, web pages and uh, we uh, taught them uh, to, to use uh, like uh, learning models as will be on our project web page so that they have no problem in using the materials or uh, going to courses that you other partners will set up. Uh, also very uh, big part of our, uh, our activities is English language. Uh, we try to uh, teach our members uh, on the beginning, on the basics, uh, they learned uh, in Croatian. So they learned about using the computers in Croatian language. Uh, the system was uh, set up on the Croatian language and uh, programs like Microsoft Office was also uh, set up uh, on English. But later, uh, during the course, uh, we uh, taught them uh, simultaneously with using uh, the computers uh, basic English language so that uh, they have no problems uh, while uh, trying to find any kind of information in English or uh, we wanted to prepare them uh, for future use that they will go to our project website and that they can log in, that they can search the courses, that they can participate in courses, uh, surveys, exams, and that they don't have any kind of problem uh, uh, using uh, our LMS, and that they are 
and the independent users. So, uh, parallel with IT skills, uh, we also so organized a uh, basic English language uh, uh, course for mostly adults because our young uh, members, younger members, they uh, know English uh, at least at basic uh, level. And, and here are some photos. Uh, so, uh, we had small groups. Uh, you, you can see that this is from one of our association near Zagreb. Uh, photos that uh, what it looks like. Pictures. Uh, all of this uh, was uh, important to do uh, because of our future plans. So in the future uh, we will organize and we will have our focus on Croatian national traditions. Uh, so we will, our future plan is to organize trainings and practicum about Croatian national traditions and to organize course support about Croatian national traditions and within uh, that course support we will make a small part of uh, Croatian language, just the basics, to learn the uh, numbers, uh, some phrases like thank you, good day, my name is, so the basics uh, of Croatian language with multimedia support, videos and tutorials. Uh, since uh, our, our, a lot of our national traditions uh, are presented in, in Zagreb. Uh, we, we thought about uh, the, the souvenirs that uh, we came from national tradition and today are one of the most popular and famous souvenirs in Zagreb. So that's what we mean by multimedia support, like videos, how do you create uh, some traditional items so that everybody can create them. Uh, at home uh, and tutorials in writing in English the steps of making uh, something. I believe that we have this is a video. I don't know if it will work on YouTube. Uh, well, YouTube actually, does no. it work. Uh, just a second. Because it's locally it could work. You have it on the Yeah. Oh. It's a small video so uh, you will see a, a, a small video about one uh, common souvenir in Zagreb. I will turn the, the, the sound uh, down because it's not important so much and it's not in English. Sorry. They look delicious, your hearts. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, not no, that's, <laughs> that's the only problem. Usually, uh, in the past, uh, people gave them uh, as a sign of affection or love. So, uh, young guys gave it to, to their girlfriends. So, excuse me. Well, yeah.
<laughs> we will talk about it uh, during the lunch. <laughs> Since our uh, trainings of IT skills were over this Friday, uh, so uh, we didn't have uh, so much time to prepare all the uh, core support and we will do it in the next few weeks. And that's mostly about it. Thank you for your attention. See you in the And uh, I think we have the time to invite uh, our uh, great partners. Alex, we have prepared two presentations. Very good, we have uh, half an hour. So. Paula, do you have something here uh, to present? Yes. Yes. So we maybe. So after the Greece, uh, it will be uh, Portugal. Okay. Uh, Shall I start? Okay. Um, Silence, please. Um, I would like to say that I'm very happy to be here with you and uh, I would like to thank uh, Turkey Sigma for the great hospitality. Pleasure. Uh, um, I'm going to make a presentation about um, uh, ways that we can utilize new te technologies for adult education. And uh, specifically I'm going to uh, talk about how we can enhance the educational process of uh, learning um, a second language. Um, the, basic, the basic idea is um, the one of a dynamic immersion. I will explain, it, uh, I will explain the, the, this philosophy later in the next slide. We will see some approaches and methods and um, two specific uh, software, softwares uh, which are called the Rosetta Stone and Memorize. Um, um, learning uh, 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 learning a language, a second language uh, uh, as an adult um, uh, triggers uh, positive uh, challenges. Um, the first one is that um, there is um, a, a huge need to provide the, the right stimulus so that the adult brain can be can start uh, can be retrained in the language learning. Um, for example, when we are uh, children, we um, and uh, we don't know how to talk. Uh, we usually notice our environment, um, pay attention to uh, little uh, details uh, such as words or sounds, and we make uh, connections uh, uh, between words and the concepts. Um, uh, studies have shown that if we can uh, consider the, the second language uh, acquisition as a natural uh, approach. Um, to our uh, childish-like uh, abilities, we can achieve a strong immersion. Uh, so we will, uh, in the next slide, we will present a way to approximate the environment that um, a, lang a second la language uh, could be learned as a as a child. Um, our main idea was uh, the creation of a foreign language uh, learning software. Uh, based on the dynamic immersion method. Uh, when we are talking about dynamic immersion, we, we refer to, um, to use uh, ways that can teach a foreign language um, as uh, uh, the way the first language uh, is learned. Our, uh, our, aim, our aim is to make the learning process 
an intuitive and uh, pragmatic uh, experience so that uh, the, um, the, the learners can have a better recall and uh, have a, a longer result. Um, some basic um, features of an uh, immersive, uh, immersive environment um, are presented in this slide. Uh, first of all, in an immersive environment um, there is uh, no use of uh, uh, users uh, uh, native language. Uh, what we want to uh, achieve here is that um, because uh, an adult uh, is uh, get used to the philosophy of his uh, uh, first uh, his native language, uh, he usually thinks this way. So we want to uh, avoid that and um, by talking um, to uh, a user uh, in, the, in, the, in the second point, language, he get used to uh, to the pronunciation, to the new philosophy of the target language. Um, another uh, important point is that um, we 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 will never present our own translation of words or uh, phrases of the target uh, language. We want to avoid uh, the user to. Uh, the user's dependence on the, uh, the translation and the um, uh, role memorization. Um, instead, we, <coughs> we intend to teach a foreign language naturally by making strong connections between the words and objects and uh, or, or events, real life scenarios, um, to, to achieve a, bet, a better record. Um, in a dynamic, in a dynamic uh, immersion um, environment, we utilize uh, uh, real-life uh, pictures, uh, sounds, words, or scenarios, so that we can gradually guide the user um, to, uh, to spontaneously and naturally uh, recall and respond to, uh, to the target language concept. Uh, here we can see the main approach is that uh, we are thinking of uh, following in, the, uh, in our future uh, actions. The first one um, is the learn as a baby learning approach. And the second one um, is called the visual learning. Um, or in other words, we, we try to trigger the photographic memory. Uh, let's start with the, the first philosophy, the learner's baby approach. Um, as I already told you, we try to our aim is to um, to simulate the way an adult uh, have uh, has learned his uh, first language. Um, um, and uh, to make uh, a strong associations between um, co uh, between words and. Um, uh, and um, concepts of the target language. Uh, a common practice to do this is to provide um, uh, audio instructions in the target language that uh, guide the user intuitively to interact with the, concept, with the concepts of the new language and um, start um, associating uh, spoken dialogue and text with images that are reflective of the meaning of a uh, word or a phrase. Um, Okay. We want to avoid uh, any kind of um, translation, as I, I, as, uh, I already have uh, mentioned. Um, some, um, some methods that we can apply to, um, to, um, uh, to uh, achieve a learn as a baby uh, environment is to, um, to start learning the meaning of new words and sentences from real-life images. Uh, what I mean here is that um, we can um, uh, guide users uh, by hearing a specific word along with um, noticing a variety of pictures to choose the magic one. For example, we can um, show them uh, four pictures, say the word um, apple and uh, um, gradually uh, guide him to match the, the word that he hears the apple with the right uh, image. 
Uh, and this way we can achieve a connection between the specific uh, word with the meaning that we want to pass to, him, uh, to teach him. Another um, method is to um, to match, uh, to choose the uh, no, the, the second one is the example that I already told you, so we'll proceed with the next slide. Um, another um, technique is to use uh, multiple choice um, examples. Um, so uh, that the, um, uh, the users that have um, already see um, uh, words and the matching uh, images to um, to choose uh, to tell him a phrase that refers to the word we want uh, to teach him and uh, he can he can choose uh, the matching um, uh, image and. Um, some other uh, methods are to um, to prompt the user to speak, uh, to show him uh, an image, and to prompt him to pronounce the the right, uh, the correct word in the target language. And again, uh, we can uh, also prompt him to type a given phrase so we can uh, work with spelling and uh, grammar. <coughs> Um, I have a video, so everything will be <laughs> more understood. Um, the um, a software tool that um, is based on the learners of philosophy is the Rosetta Stone. Um, you can uh, see if you have an experience with Rosetta Stone uh, on this URL. You can see. It's an example of uh, how we can uh, learn uh, the, the Greek uh, language by using the Rosetta Stone. how we, we say hello in uh, Greek. Uh, it is Yasas. Um, so the, uh, the other um, uh, can hear the, the word, the target word, which is Yasas. Yes. And, uh, um, and uh, he and no, uh, this is the first time he, he, we, uh, we saw the, uh, to, to the user how, uh, how we say hello in uh, Greece, okay? In this slide, um, um, the system um, uh, introduces the, the word tokoriti, which means uh, the girl and the boy. Uh, which, uh, which, which in Greek we call that um, the boy means to uh, hori and um, the, the user have uh, already listened to these uh, words and after the system is going to ask them uh, to, to choose the right uh, the right in words pictures <coughs> Okay. Then uh, we can. Not a problem. Uh, you can uh, notice that uh, 
The software tried to learn you a Greek language using Greek language. And uh, the first lesson from you can see that Korichi, it's this image, so you can choose the matching uh, one uh, picture. Kokoritsi. And you promise the user to pronounce the right word. So you need the microphone to work in this method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's like uh, infants learn the first language. By repeating after his parents. The system first uh, introduces the words and makes the connections and then he prompts the user to uh, choose the, the matching one pictures. Let me begin with the same approach, which is uh, the visual learning. Um, our aim here is to bring language uh, learning to life by utilizing um, MEMS, that uh, means uh, mnemonics and memory aid, um, so that it um, can help others to create connections between words and their meaning. And we, in this way, we want to enrich other learning by learning them um, uh, to commit specific con concepts to long term memory in an enjoyable and uh, a fun way. I have um, a typical case to stimulate uh, the, the visual learning is to again associate words and phrases with uh, flashcards documented with mnemonics. Um, this way uh, we can um, we can uh, um, help users um, to achieve a, a stronger recall. And um, there are, there's a technique um, which is based on space repetition schemes. And that means that uh, we introduce uh, the meaning of a word uh, to an adult, and after a number of uh, steps, we, uh, we ask him to perform uh, tasks based on this uh, on the already taught um, uh, meaning so that we we are sure that he has a, a, in, a in depth on the start the reports we want. We have another video. Yes, um, this is um, the uh, software tool that um, embraces the philosophy of uh, visual learning is memorized, which is a uh, uh, free app now, as you can see, the, uh, this is uh, the URL. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, in this example, an adult um, is uh, trying to uh, learn the Turkish language. Uh, so we will see that he, he, we will um, choose the language, and uh, the and especially uh, in this software we can. Um, Choose a category. Uh, we, the category we have shown to show you is the uh, basic therapies. A user can. Um, he choose the target language. the category, which is uh, basic therapy. He proceeds with the process. These are the first uh, words that um, the system will uh, learn to uh, uh, add. And 
uh, there's a word though which is called COVID and uh, by clicking on the help me remember it, uh, that means that uh, that uh, shows uh, an image so that we have a connection between the cold word and door. Uh, another example is Araba, which uh, means car. And um, uh, he tries to provide um, uh, mnemonics for uh, the others to connect that uh, the word uh, Kopek is uh, called dog or the, the word uh, Araba means car. And there are some uh, questions to, so that we can be sure that uh, the, the user can um, uh, recall right the, the, right, the correct words. <laughs> 